What's up and welcome to another edition of the Cover 2 Recap. I'm Edward Lewis, publisher of BruinSportsport.com. He's Joey Kaufman, the UCLA beat writer for the OC Register. We're here tonight at UCLA where it just wrapped up practice number eight of spring ball. And Joey, it was a memorable one because it was the first one without Josh Rosen, which meant it was the Ashanti Ward and Jerry Neuheisel show. And uh, it was a lot of what we've seen pri prior to this practice from the two. A lot of ups and downs from Willard and uh, not so strong of a run for Jerry Neuheisel. Is that what you kind of saw as well? A lot of highs, a lot of lows. You would, There were times where both of them had some nice throws. There were other times where Jerry dropped back to pass and hit one of the defensive backs in the back of the helmet on a 15-yard out row. So it wasn't the prettiest day from the quarterbacks. Yeah, I, th I thought today was, was really kind of the, the first real day where you saw it was, okay, Rosen's the starter here. I mean, we're it's not even really playing around anymore. I know Ashanti Ward started practice really well, had some nice runs, uh, had some nice throws, looked like it was like, okay, maybe this light is turning on, the game's starting to slow down for him. And then I want to say he ended practice with probably three or four interceptions, including a tipped interception to defensive lineman Kenny Clark. And then Jerry Neuheisel, playing with the twos, didn't get any pass protection and, and was kind of moving around in the pocket and was getting harassed all day long. And then, like you said, had that terrible throw in seven on seven. So it just was not a great day to be a quarterback here and and I think it's just even more and more apparent every day that Rosen is a starter. Do you, do you see that same thing? Oh, I see th I see this. I'll say this. Um, Ashani, I feel like Ashani Ward has gotten a little better throughout spring. Um, you, you've seen improvement. I think Rosen is the starter, but I think Ashanti Woolard is perhaps going to make this a more interesting competition than I would have felt a week ago just because at times he will flash and have some highs. One thing with Jerry I'm, I find odd is this is the third week and I feel like He's will make a lot of the easy throws, and you don't see him a lot. You don't see a lot of boom from him. So that's, I guess that's how I kind of see it right now. I think Rosen is still has probably impressed me the most, um, but Woolard seems to be the guy who's going to make this a competition. Rather, I think you called uh, Jerry kind of steady Eddie, and you want to, and that's kind of his mojo. He's kind of a consistent rock, but you would like to I think see some flashier plays or just see some kind of big play potential, and you haven't seen that a ton from him. At least kind of Ashanti's shown that, and maybe they kind of talk themselves into this being more of a competition. Uh, Jim Moore said today after practice that they'll reevaluate all this kind of quarterback competition tonight. It's, it's practice number eight. This is when he said he wanted to do that. So Wednesday morning could be a big day in determining what's going on here. I mean, it looks like Mike Faithful is out. He probably only had three or four throws today, and, and it looks like he's probably out of the competition. So it's probably going to go down to three on Wednesday, but it'll be interesting to see who gets the ones, who gets the twos, who gets the majority of the reps and all that. I don't know if you can go with – Two guys. I, I don't. I think they're going to cut it down to three, which is going to be my guess because I don't think they can cut it two because I don't think they're going to go with just Jerry and Josh because they're going to want to see what Ashanti is going to do, and they're going to want to have Jerry in there because Jerry's the consistent and the reliable guy. So if if we're prognosticating here, I think they're probably going to cut it to three would be our best guess. So it should be interesting to see on Wednesday morning. So let's get in top performers from today. A lot of top performers, I thought, especially on the defensive side of the ball, a lot of 11 on 11. So give me your first one. I know it's a defensive back. Uh, Ishmael Adams had a nice interception today. It was a high throw and he jumped up and caught. I think it was, yeah, Woolard threw it and it was high and he would have made a good play. So he had a nice day. I, th I thought uh, two guys that stood out to me were, again, Marcus Rios. I know we've had him here. I want This might be his third time on top performers cover two, but uh, he had an interception off Woolard as well, one of Woolard's three, uh, and then had a bunch of pass breakups and one-on-ones. I think he was 3-0 and against Alex Van Dyke in one-on-ones and just really looked like the, the best defensive back out there, or best cornerback out there today. And the other guy that this was was kind of surprising to me was Jordan Lasley. Uh, he's had a really up and down emotional spring camp. He's been kind of solid playing wise for, for the first seven practices, but he's been throwing fists at DBs and kind of yelling and screaming and taunting. And finally today, he kind of just shut up and did his thing and he had a bunch of catches, beat beat Johnny Johnson pretty badly three or four times a day and, and beat Denzel Fisher badly again too. So he had a really nice day and Jim Moore said after practice, this could be the day that, that the light goes on for him. Uh, you had one other top former, another defensive back. I do want to add one more thing off of your, your guys, Marcus Rios, this is, I think, like the third time you said he's been mentioned. He is really much bigger. Like his, his upper body looks good, his triceps, the whole, I think they said he's like gained 20, 30 pounds yeah. in the last. So he's eating his Wheaties. Um, another guy I have is a Jaleel Wadud, who's had a pretty good spring all in all. He had a really big hit and a forced fumble during, um, I think it was 11 on 11s. But in general, he's been very active. He makes a lot of plays closer to the line of scrimmage than you might expect for a safety. So I think he's had a pretty good spring. He's an aggressive safety who's pretty much been 
I think he's. I don't think he's had a bad practice at all, and he's been very good in a lot of practices. That'll be our coverage of day eight. You can follow Joey's coverage of UCLA on Twitter at Joey R Kaufman. You can follow me on Twitter at Edward Double Underscore Lewis. Until the next time, thanks for tuning in to the Cover Two Recap. <laughs>